To me, leadership is the ability to inspire trust in others. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> you see, you can be the, the most devoted, the uh, most compelling, the wisest leader. But if people don't trust you, if they have no trust in your words or your actions, then you won't succeed. We've always thought of students, all students being able to learn and learn at high levels and um, also really believe that all students can lead and so we were trying to put those two things together and it developed, the flesh that that developed was that students would um, assemble a portfolio of learning and leadership tasks over time. No student at Common Ground will ever say, I don't remember what we did in high school, or I don't remember what I read, because, I mean, they've been reflecting on it for the last four years. For not only being able to state what you've done, both academically and in your community, but being able to actually provide artifacts that demonstrate that involvement. I had a fear of letting them be involved in any way because of my narrow-mindedness. Uh, it was very difficult for me because the very thing I needed to do was also the thing that was holding me back. That thing was stressing my group members. And you know, the moment where I, I stepped in, you know, in front of everyone, and you know, they, they said, "All right, you're ready to do it." Uh, you know, i you know, my heart was pounding. It was you know, ready to jump out of my my, my chest. I said my first words, just all of that just went away. And I felt truly, you know, truly powerful and truly, you know, inspired to be there and, and, and talking in front of everyone. Definitely power being the one that's telling your story because now the people actually see you for you because I wasn't, I wasn't really showing me. I didn't want nobody to see the negative side of me because I felt like that side of me wasn't, wasn't positive at all. But now that, now I'm realizing that you can also see the good sides of your flaws to share that and be vulnerable. Even if it hasn't been, you know, a journey of like straight A's and academic and personal success, when students are able to acknowledge what their path has been through that process, um, really owning, um, owning their history and owning their understanding of themselves, that I think really sets, sets them up to change the world um, as they leave Common Ground. Well, my goal is not to defeat anyone, my humble hope is to conquer my fears and to make my mark on the world. Again, thank you all for coming to my presentation. Perfect. For real. Your voice being cracked. Your voice was powerful. You're good. You're gonna get it high. My mouth was so dry though. <laughs> I mean, you were honest. They like that honesty, yeah. and you made them laugh, which made them get more into it. Students who are about to embark on the process, um, what would you tell them? I guess what I would say is don't try to force an experience to mean something more than it is. Be very genuine about you know those experiences because they they really uh, they're supposed to show your true growth. And so trying to force something uh, to uh, and, and trying to shape it into something that is not very new. Uh, not very genuine, it's not the way to, to do it. It's, you really have to uh, choose experiences that truly you know, speak to you.